Hi guys, it's Kelly. So today is going to be about side effects um, and cycle update and OPKs. So first of all, um, I'm going to give you guys kind of a cycle update. And my phone just fell on the floor. Um, but I think I remember. I am on cycle day 12. Um, and I have been taking some OPKs. I took um, one yesterday and this morning and they are still both negative which I'm you know expecting because it's still way too early for me since I have kind of long cycles but I did start my OPKs earlier than I normally would have because I am taking the Vitex. I want to be able to um, optimize my chances by tracking my ovulation if I do ovulate early because I just I don't know but for me I just always expect to ovulate later in my cycle so I'm not sure if the Vitex is going to help me at all in that so I want to be prepared so that's kind of my cycle update and then on to OPKs I recently purchased the um, the clear blue digital ones and I got 20 tests instead of your regular 7 or 14 which will work for someone that has a normal short cycle but someone that has kind of longer cycles and will ovulate later in their cycle or like all over the place like sometimes I will might ovulate on cycle day 18 and then other months might maybe cycle day 26 so I need um, a lot of OPKs to be kind of prepared for that and these are the the digital ones with the smiley face ones and I had never purchased these or had never used these so I didn't have any experience with how to use them I guess um, and this just comes with for those of you that haven't tried them because I didn't even know um, this will come with like the little re I don't even know what you call this, this this comes with the little test holder, this is what they call it, and this is um, where obviously the little smiley face is going to um, show up. And so basically, um, this is where you're going to insert um, your test strips, and it comes just like that, and you have them individually wrapped. And um, basically, you're just going to insert your test strip into your test holder, and you want to make sure your arrows align just like the little directions say. So you want to make sure they align, and there it is. I don't know if you guys can see that. It aligned, and um, after that, um, a little like test symbol will show up uh, on one of the corners and it'll start flashing and about three minutes later you will get your empty circle or your smiley face. I actually have to say that I really like the digital the digital ones sorry and versus the um, just the regular line ones. Um, I know that these digital ones are a bit more expensive or a lot more expensive maybe than the like internet cheapies that you can get and those are great for people that you know ovulate on you know set day every cycle um, have short cycles um, but for people like me that have long cycles and don't have really clear and like indication of ovulation when it comes to charting um, I want to use an OPK that will just be a straight up yes or no rather than having to kind of read the lines because for me I felt that I would always have like almost positives um, I felt like every time that I would take one and I, when I was nearing ovulation it would be and almost positive, just almost positives. I felt like I never even got a true positive um, because for me it was just really hard to um, 
to read the lines. But that being said, these are pricier. Um, and if the Vitex does help me, and it kind of helps me, you know, helps my cycles regulate, then I probably will purchase the internet cheapies and then just, like a lot of people do, just confirm with the digital ones. So that's what I might do. I have to see how the Vitex works out. And then speaking of Vitex, this was a great segue, um, I have only been taking it for a week. Yesterday um, was a whole week that I took Vitex. And I have the, um, just the one fluid ounce um, bottle. And I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. I actually had to like peel the label a bit. But the Vitex, I hope you guys, I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but the Vitex is like right there. So, as you can see, it's almost all gone. And I haven't even taken it today. Um, I'm taking it twice a day. 50 drops every time. So, 100 drops total. And this is um, 250 grams. No, 250 um, milligram milliliter herb equivalency. So, 30 drops in is 250 milligrams. Um, I have already purchased another bottle. Actually, I purchased two more bottles since I have long cycles and this is only going to last for like a week and a half. I definitely will need some more so I've already ordered that. So hopefully it'll get here before this bottle ends. Um, like I said in my last video, this tastes awful, awful, awful. The taste is just horrible. Um, but I will say that I feel like it's not as bad it, as it was in the beginning. I feel like my kind of my palate almost has been getting used to the taste of it, which is just awful. Um, but I have been taking it every day, twice a day, and I. Um, I haven't had any type of side effects with Vitex or the Maca that I'm also taking. And the EPO or the Evening Primrose Oil is still a little bit soon to tell because I haven't or I'm not approaching ovulation just yet. Um, so what I'm kind of hoping to get out of the Vitex is that it will make me ovulate sooner. I've always been a late ovulator. Um, I think the earliest day I've ever ovulated while I've been tracking my cycles was cycle day 18. That's the earliest. And then I feel like every month that's gone by, I've either ovulated, you know, near cycle 18, like cycle day 19 or 20, or like way later. I think the latest was cycle day 27 and you know that's not that long compared to some other women that ovulate like on cycle day 50 um, but it's not where it should be and it's not where it should be and so I'm just hoping that the Vitex will help me um, bring back um, an earlier ovulation day. I, I mean, I would even be happy with just ovulating again on cycle day 18 versus ovulating on cycle day like 27. I would, if it did that for me, then I would say that it worked at least for me. Um, and I know it takes some time for it to start working. People say around three months. Um, that's why I got the liquid form. So hopefully it will work faster than the pill form because it is absorbed into your body um, faster. And I know someone mentioned that they have the liquid form pills, I think it's what it's called, also available. And, um, and I definitely want to give those a try next cycle if 
this cycle obviously doesn't result in anything. I just want to stick to the same type of Vitex for this cycle and then make the switch over rather than switching brands and form a Vitex like mid-cycle. So I don't want to do that. So I do want to keep trying this one until this cycle is over and then make the switch, which will be a lot easier and I hope won't have the awful taste to it. Um, so I think that is it for this video. I hope to have later this week, either maybe tomorrow or Wednesday, a fun tag video um, to kind of get our minds off of ovulation and charting and OPKs and um, supplements and two-week weights and, you know, BFNs and, you know, just something fun to kind of lighten the mood a bit because I feel like, you know, this can get so depressing, um, especially when you've been at it for quite, like a while um, and... You know, it can get kind of depressing, so I feel like sometimes I just need to talk about some other things, and I do love watching everyone's videos and following everyone's journey in their, you know, their TTC journey, and I wish everyone the best of luck. So, we're kind of getting a little bit off track, so I will end this video, and I hope you have, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.